Hey y'all, it's Claire at Chat Purity, and I'm going to give you an updated walkthrough through all of our features at Chat Purity so you can get started quickly with our AI platform for product managers and their team and understand all of our capabilities. So of course we're going to sign into Chat PRD and I'm going to walk through a couple things. First, we're going to look at the setup steps that make you super successful with Chat PRD. If you haven't already, the first thing I recommend folks do when starting with Chat PRD is set up their profile. This profile gives our AI context of who you are, what you do, what you're working on, so we can make sure that the documents we generate and the work we do for you is exceptional. To fill out your profile, all you have to do is put in your name, your company, and your company website, what role you have, and then you can use our little AI generate button to generate a bio and some instructions about you. Or you can write this yourself. Again, this will be always on context that ChatPRD uses to improve your chats and documents. In addition, you can set up your preferences for ChatPRD. So you can choose your default language that ChatPRD will respond in what your industry focus is, and then any preferences around personality or feedback style. I like ChatPRD to be mean to me. So you're gonna see my communication style is uh, professional and strict. I want it to give me hardcore feedback. The next setup process for ChatPRD is setting up your templates. As you know, ChatPRD is set up to generate documents for you. And we know that a lot of organizations and users like their own templates for their document generation. So while ChatPRD ships with a bunch of out-of-the-box templates, including the ChatPRD template and other ChatPRD documents or documents from our community, if you're a pro or Teams user, you can import your own templates into ChatPRD. You can implement those by importing them via PDF, pasting the template document in by text, or entering your template sections manually. If you're on a team, you can use this little share template toggle down here at the bottom to share your template with other members of your team, which means everybody can generate their documents using the same structured template across your organization. The last setup step is making sure that you have all your integrations set up. ChatPRD ships with a bunch of integrations, including some import export document integrations across Google Drive, Notion, and Confluence. Microsoft ecosystem coming soon. We have a bunch of integrations with a lot of the vibe coding and prototyping tools. V0 is where we're most deeply integrated, but I'll show that in a little bit. And we have Slack and linear bots, which are very popular with our users, as well as an MCP client that can be used in cursor, windsurf, cloud code, cloud desktop, or VS code, or any other client that allows you to connect to remote MCP servers. As a note, all of our integrations are available to our pro plans. So if you're interested in these integrations, make sure to upgrade or start a trial of your pro plan. All right, let's get to the core chat in ChatPRD. So this is a very simple chat interface. You should be familiar with ChatPRD chat. One thing you may wanna do before getting started with chats is look at our projects feature. Again, this is a pro feature for our paid users where you can actually create detailed instructions and files that can be shared across chats. If you're familiar with ChatGPT GPTs or Claude projects, very similar mindset, except we're built for teams and we help you with a lot more context. So you can create a project. It will have a name, instructions, as many files as you want. You can share that project with your team and you can also know that every chat in your project is going to populate the knowledge base for that project with different files and context so that every chat gets smarter. Again, these can be shared across your team. So if you need your team working on a project together, you're going to definitely want to set up projects. Back to core chat. I like to use this help me write a document flow. It's my most common flow for using chat PRD. And this is where I really get started writing any PRDs or requirements. Now, quick pit stop. Why would you want requirements documents? Well, if you're in a larger product organization, you know the answer, but let's say you're a solo founder or a vibe coder or someone like that. Product requirements really help define your product in a specific way so that you can implement them from a technical perspective effectively. So I use product requirements documents all the time, even as a solo founder. And so I use this help me write a document flow quite frequently. You can also use our core chat down here where you can select what project you're working in, 
what template you might want to use, attach files as necessary, and begin chatting. But let's just write a document together. And I'm going to say I am working on a project, which is a onboarding flow for new chat PRD users. Chat PRD is really tuned to ask you the right questions and fill out context so that you're getting great feedback from the document. And so it's going to think a little bit and it, because it knows so much about chat PRD, it's going to write the document right away. If it didn't know as much about me, which it really does because I use it a lot, it might ask me some questions like, why are you building this? What is it for? What's the purpose? But right now, chat PRD is going to draft an outline of the document and then stream it here in the chat. So you can see here, ChatPRD is outlining a PRD based on our template and is going to stream in the document creation right here on the right side. Okay, so ChatPRD is gonna write your document here and really you can see it stream in all the things that you need in your PRD based on the outline of your document. You can see this live preview of ChatPRD writing the document as you go. And this is my personal ChatPRD template. It's the one I love the most. And I use it, it has lots of great sections like goals, user stories, functional requirements, user experience flow, which is really great if you're using a prototyping tool, um, technical requirements, tracking plans, all those things that would make a really great PRD. Of course, if you have your own template, it will follow your template and write the document to spec. And what I like about chat PRD is it will get you to 85 or 90% of what you need your document to be. And then you can go ahead and edit it, work with your team, improve it over time to really make it detailed and excellent. So we're gonna wait for this document to generate. And once it does, I will show you how to edit that document, share it with folks, and even turn it into a prototype. Okay, my document is done generating. Now I can open it in our real-time editor here. This is very similar to a Google Docs editor where you can go in and actually make live edits here in the doc. You can use our AI editor to make some grammatical changes or even ask product questions. Scroll through, make sure it looks great to you. You can always ask the chat to update the document and it can make specific changes to your document over time. So if you're iterating with chat PRD, the chat is aware of the document or you can even change the template and ask ChatPRD to generate a new document. For example, if I wanted it to generate a go-to-market plan, I could ask it to do that. But now that I have my document, one of the things that I love to do is actually turn it into a prototype. And that's where our open in window here really helps. So once you've generated a document, you have now unlocked our integrations with our prototyping and vibe coding tools, including V0, Lovable Bolt, Magic Patterns, more coming soon, where you can actually one click will generate an optimized prompt for that platform and then send the prompt as well as your supporting documentation into the platform to generate your prototype. This is a flow I use quite a lot and find really useful for taking a product idea into implementation. Of course, we love when you rate and tell us if the documents are great, if your chats are great, and want you to share your documents with your teammates. So if you're on chat PRD teams, you can share your document with other members of your team or individuals in your organization. You can create public share links if you wanna share your chat PRD chat with folks on the internet or folks that do not have a chat PRD account. And that is the core document. Of course, we know that ChatPRD sits in an ecosystem of integrations. So if you want to export your documents to Google Drive, Notion, or Confluence, we can do that directly from the ChatPRD interface. Last thing I wanna remind you is again, we have all these integrations. So if you are looking to connect ChatPRD to any of your other systems, or for example, start opening your PRDs in cursor or cloud code to start working on them. You can connect with our MCP or do one click on any of our integrations to get access to chat PRD in the tools that you love. So that is it. That is our quick start for chat PRD, a world tour of some, not all of our features and a quick introduction on how to set up chat PRD, how to use the core chat and what our core integrations look like. I'm excited for you to get on board with chat PRD and look forward to your feedback. Thank you.